Good morning, y'all. We on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Ooh, yeah. Good morning, y'all. Yes, we're doing a breakfast, a mukbang. Honeycomb, one of our childhood favorites. Sometimes you just have to go ahead on and get to the grocery store and pick up your favorite cereal. Anyway, y'all, let me say grace and we're going to just dust it off. Thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. Amen. All right, y'all. I wanted to come on this morning and uh, apologize that um, I did not do a Sunday video. Yes, we were at mom's house. Yes, Tony was in the house. But y'all, we just had something that went down. Um, so we I, I just couldn't record anyway. So you know how it is, family stuff. You just things we had to talk. So anyway, anyway, that's just how it is in families. Every time we get together things take precedent and you have to just discuss stuff, you know? So anyway, I want to just come on this morning and let y'all know that all is well. Um, I'm going to try to do more recordings this week. Uh, I got, a, I do have a busy week, but nonetheless, um, let me go and take a bite. Take a bite of the honeycomb. Y'all, I love me some honeycomb. Honeycomb, Frosted Flakes with Bananas, and Captain Crunch. Hand down, all-time favorite. And I love eating Kellogg's Pops. I love eating those dry. And I love eating Honeycomb dry, too. Just dry. Put you some in a Ziploc bag, and you're ready to get it. The sun ain't quite came up yet. Well, it's up, but it's just gloomy looking. Mm. Good cold milk. Got shivers of ice. Mmm. I don't know what I'm gonna cook for dinner tonight. Mm. Of course, I've shared with y'all I've been in leadership training. I'm telling them. Every leader, every, just people in general, when they offer that kind of stuff on your job, because you're up for promotion or whatever the case may be, or you just want to sharpen your skills, period, in the field that you're working in, um, I'll take those classes when they offer them. Especially if it's no cost to you. I'm telling you, that's the best thing. And I do like that about our company. They offer different leadership classes. They offer, and of course your manager has to you know, sign off on it, you know. And not everybody can take it. We understand that. But like, like I said, what I like about my company is 
like quarterly and they can't fill but so many slots so it's like you know you just gotta be looking on the bulletin board looking on the internet and like I said our company they offer like um Excel classes you might have a job where you have to use Excel spreadsheets and you have to know how to use those formulas Knowing how to use formulas within the uh, Excel spreadsheet. Knowing how to use uh, build tables. How to use database. You know, all this stuff comes on our computers. You know, most of, the, most of them do. When we get a new computer, you might have the Microsoft packages already added to it. You know. And I'm here to tell you. You never know when you have to use that kind of stuff. But anyway, they offer that. Excel classes, Excel 1, Excel 2, Excel 3, Excel, you know, advanced, you know. And how awesome is that? Is if you have a job well, you have to use Excel spreadsheet. And you ain't always got to bother your coworker to build a spreadsheet for you or to insert formulas or tables in there. When you take those on the job, you know, courses, and it's dealing directly with what you have to do for your daily duties, man, that is priceless. Because you don't have to go through all the school book work that you have to do for college. Even though you learn that way, you can specifically cater that report to whatever you have to do on your job every day. Anyway. This class that I took, or leadership training, sharpen your skills on how to manage people. Oh man, let me tell you something. The young lady in HR that's teaching this, uh, that's facilitating this class, man, she's priceless. She was sharing with us when she first started in HR. Again, when you're in human resources, or period, you know, if you're in a job where you deal with different diversities of peoples, different personalities, culture, all that stuff, you know, you have to really be in tune. So it was so awesome. It almost makes me think about psychiatrists and psychologists and clinical psychologists and therapists and all that. They go to school all these years to learn all this information to learn how to unlock the answers that people will communicate. And you might have a loved one or somebody that you just an acquaintance with or in your circle and you've talked to this person and, you, and you've tried to mentor them and you've done this and you've done that. You know, you really want to see this person win, but it's like they keep chasing their same, the, the same situation, the same tale. And it's like when they finish, all they are is tired and you woe out too. And it's like when people go to a therapist, it's like the therapist has learned what questions to ask a person to cause them to almost <laughs> spill their guts. But they're spilling their guts in order to help them to work through the issues of life that they're dealing with. And you be like, man, you mean to tell me that's all I had to ask? 
But it's just the way you ask. It's the tone. It's like that person has an epiphany. And you you learn and you you learn how to help people sharpen their skills. And that's what leadership and coaching and managing and all that's about. You don't really give them the answer. You allow them to unlock it. You allow them to see it so they have that aha moment, you know? Because we can jow jack all we want to. It's knowing the right questions to ask, you know? Oh, I absolutely enjoyed that. And I learned so much. And I'm going to be able to implement that on my day-to-day -day duties as a supervisor or just in life in general, you know? Not that you're sitting around cycling, analyzing people. No. Aren't we all in life trying to get from point A to point B? And then when we get to point B, we want to get to point C. Don't we? So anyway... She gave us some tools that we can incorporate in our everyday work life. When a situation comes upon you, I'll spare you the technicality and all that, what we discuss. But let's say you've got a situation on your job, in your household, with your children, whatever. You're at a crossroads and you have to get a person or get the situation. In other words... We've bantered back and forth for an hour about this. Okay, we have to stop and think, okay, what's the goal here? What's the objective and how do we get to that place? We don't want to dismiss people's experience. We don't want to dismiss people's um, feelings and, and, and all that emotional. We don't, we, we don't want to dismiss all of that. But at the same time, in, in work, in life, we have a deadline. We've got uh, seven days or five business days to complete this task or this project. I may not have time to comb your hair, brush your hair, comb, uh, you know, brush your teeth, curl your eyelashes and all of that. We've got to get it done. So, how do we work through all of that? Man, she laid down a schematic on... Ask this question, guide them through it, give the tools, where you need to go to get the tools and resources so that person can be successful or as the group as a whole can be successful with achieving that. Oh, it's like a little guideline. And once you practice it, it becomes common, natural place. And you know, and I've been around and I have worked with people on projects and you know, they, they're in within the company and they go from department to department and they just, we just flow. Cause every day you don't have a major issue, at least when you hope you don't. And you know, when you just work with a person and they just, man, they are sharp. They are sharp. I mean, you know, they just get in there laser, laser focused, a new set of fresh eyes, a new set of fresh thoughts and ideas. And they just come in there with a surgical knife and just say, okay, this is what you need to cut out right there. That's what's causing all this over here. And it don't matter what all this is. They know how to help you fine tune. And man, when she gave us those questions and things to evaluate and insert into our troubleshooting, resolving conflict, or showing people their strengths, knowing where to place people with their strengths, and how to help them sharpen those weaknesses. Oh, I could talk all day long about this, y'all, but I know I'm going to spare you. And even here on this platform, you know, I know there's been a lot of drama and stuff going on, but you know what? Even in a workplace, I, this is my workplace. YouTube is a part, one, one of my workplaces. And one of the things we also discussed in, in the class is, you know, 
in the age that we're in in social media, people, excuse me, people sit around and they want to immediately pick out the negative. They watch a video so that they can immediately pick out the negative because they're geared that way. Their minds are geared that way to only pick out the negative. They want to uh, say, oh my gosh, you're fat. Well, uh, thank you. I, did you think I didn't know? Um, whereas stating the obvious, I'm, I'm fat. I'm a big size woman. You have to learn. We have to learn. If we want to help people, if we want to be have constructive criticism for anything. And I'm just, again, I'm just using myself. Uh, I know the state of my, I'm in. Um, you could turn that around and say, you know what? Here's an alternative. Instead of attacking the state of the being of the person, help guide them through to get them on the other side to be to be successful to lose weight. Now this video and for y'all to, 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 do, to do that. I'm just giving you an example of how you can sharpen people in their weaknesses. People may have a weakness for a certain type of food that allows them to continue to stay within that weight range or whatever or health situation. Well, a way that you help a person if they're soliciting, they're soliciting if they're soliciting your help, you've got to find and unlock those things, those statements and those questions that will be productive for them to be successful. And it's the same thing when you're on the job and you're dealing with people. We have to, we have to allow people to have a safe place to fail. And when, they, when we were talking about that, I said, that is so forever true. Even me as a supervisor, I have to also recognize that let's say uh, I made a decision and then I thought about it and I pondered it. And I might have to go back to my associate and say, you know what, after thinking about that, actually, let's try it your way. Because one of the elements I haven't tried, and that might be, again, that surgical thing that you need to cut out, and maybe all, maybe it will work. So as a leader, me, as a super, it's okay to go back and say, you know what, actually, let's, let's try it that way. And that way, here's the thing, there's that safe space that you provide people to fail and it's not necessarily that person fail we're just going to look at another area another direction to see if this can work and if it doesn't no harm no foul we tried it it's it was in a safe environment it wasn't in a hostile environment where i where i said okay now i'm gonna let you do this see here's the difference this is what's so awesome about thinking Okay, go ahead on and do it your way, but if it fails, it's on you. If it, it comes back to box, see, as a leader, I can't be that way. I can't, I have to have, I have to have enough confidence in my team members. Or again, building, building. And I have to say, you know what? Let's try this. I'm gonna give us, us, the team, a safe place to fail. So if it does fail, again, we can say, hey, this was something we wanted to try and see. But I think we live in a culture where, man, if you make a mistake, honey, you're going to pay. And I understand some mistakes. Yeah, you're going to have to pay the piper, baby. But on everything, you we pounce on everything a person does. Oh, I decide I'm not going to drink sodas uh, for six months. And on that fifth, on the fifth month into it, I decide to have a soda. Man, we, we will eviscerate people for stuff like that and again we have to just remember to breathe and, and just allow people to live their life i mean really and truly and again when we need to solicit your help solicit your advice or again sharpen those things that are weak to make us stronger amen i'm, I'm serious i'm telling you i'm just enjoying uh uh these uh uh classes i really am and as i get older these are just tools that you can use your whole life matter of fact the facilitator she said you know what hey use it on your children your children don't know anyway you're asking your you're, you're disciplining your children you're asking your children questions all the time anyway so they won't know that you're taking something that you learned at work and applying it in your household it's the same situation we all want to have and learn conflict resolution Instead of us 
talking at one another. Let's talk to one another and work through the issues. We're so black and white, if you will, and some issues will be that way. But in some, we have got to learn, even though with all that technology out there, even though with all that, we have got to get back to basics. That's what I was trying to say. We got to get back to basics and just learn how to communicate to one another. And that was what was going on last night. We have to, as a family, we have to remember to learn how to communicate to one another. Amen. And so anyway, just fascinating, fascinating learning. Let me finish eating your cereal. Y'all know I can jaw jack. But anyway, that's just my message this morning. You know, me included, I learned some valuable lessons. Not only just last night with talking with my mother, but just in class. With You know, the word is really the truth. With all your getting, get an understanding. Isn't that the truth? Sometimes we have to be snatched to the side. And be told, hey, 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 you know. But there's a way to do, there's a way to do everything in there. But anyway, we do, we have to learn how to talk to one another. Learn how to communicate. It's like, we have all me included, we have all got to learn how to stop barking at one another. And we do, we just have got to learn how to stop that. We need to just, again, surgically cut that out. And it'll cause all that other stuff to flow like it needs to. And yes, everything is not gonna be peaches and cream every day. We know that. I mean, you know, nobody's saying that, but I would like to think that 95% of my life um, should be that way. Yeah, 5% can, is going to be rough, trials and tribulations. None of us are exempt from that. <laughs> but even Jesus himself, he wasn't exempt from that. <laughs> from foolishness and, 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 and trials and tribulation. Can I get an amen on that? But yeah. As we know, we can grow. You know? Are you not? Well, y'all, I love y'all very much. I love you all as my extended family. We do. We just have to learn how to talk to one another. We really, really do. Mm. 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 Like I said, I will be uploading A little bit more this week and then Sunday I'm doing a um my mother's birthday Sunday dinner over here and uh for sure for sure I will be recording yeah I'm old school I want them to do that it might be politically correct and look okay to do it on camera, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let me go. Anyway, I love y'all so much. Thanks for hanging in there with me and still checking for me. I really appreciate it. But like I said, you know, life happens, family happens, doesn't it? Anyway, I love y'all so much. I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping on the flavor train because what? Flavor is where it's at. 
Bye, y'all. Love y'all. Have an awesome week.